Hi everyone to an extremely warm sunny afternoon here in the UK. Um, I've got a little video about two different types of plants that are called the cobra lily. Now I keep both of them and um, obviously this channel is mostly around aroids um, but I also have a lot of carnivorous plants and the cobra lily uh, is actually both of those plants. The name is used for two different types of plants. So I'm going to cover the two. One is an aracema and one is uh, a darlingtonia uh, californica which is a completely different taxonomic plant and it has different lifestyles and it, it deals with life in such a different way. So let's have a look at these two and then you can be really clear about the difference. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of cobra lilies. Now, despite the shared nickname, the two plants that we're going to discuss today are actually very, very different. So we've got the aracema, which is of course an aroid and very familiar on this channel. And then there's the Darlingtonia californica, which is a carnivorous plant and from a completely different taxa. So let's just start with the one that we know, so the aracema. So this one belongs to the Araceae family. Obviously that makes it a true aroid. It's known for its unique hooded flower structure and that's obviously an inflorescence which is a spadix uh, wrapped with a spathe which is a modified leaf on the outside. Uh, and it, it can look a bit like a cobra and some aracema are just bent over in such a way that they look like a striking cobra. They're fascinating because they're found in woodland habitats and have a really intriguing life cycle. It's one of my favorite plants um, and they can actually even change sex from male to female as they mature. So one year they can be female and one that year they can be male, depending on what they need. Next, let's quickly just talk about Darlingtonia californica, another of my favorite plants, but nothing to do with aroids. This is often known as the California pitcher plant. And this one's a carnivorous plant, and yet it gets the cobra lily nickname because of its tubular leaves that look like a rearing cobra again. Unlike the aracema, the Darlingtonia is all about trapping insects. They lure them in and they get lost inside its twisted pitcher, eventually being digested by the plant. If you look closely, you can see that at the top um, of the hood, you can see that it's got little windows and what happens is the fly climbs inside and then when it's in it sees these windows at the top and it bounces its way along the top and eventually gets lost down the back in the tube and gets eaten and digestive eaten by the digestive enzymes so unlike the aracema which attracts the insect to go in and then helps it to pollinate so this is eating them the aracema is using them as a pollinator in terms of how you keep the two of them, so the aracema, keep it in an aroid mix, so very well drained. It goes down to a, a tuber every year and you dig the tuber up, certainly in the UK, and store it and then plant it again in, in the, the new season. Uh, it can't survive here in, in the outside, uh, certainly not this one, which is um, a, a, an Indian or, or a, a from Sikkim, northern India and it can survive but it doesn't like the, f the, the the frozen ground so if you get it in in, in the ground and it's and leave it in there and it freezes i quite often lose them now the uh Darlingtonia is from Northern California and not only can it survive the cold, um, it actually likes to have cold roots. So I have to put um, ice blocks into its roots to keep it cool. So it likes the full sun, but it likes really cold roots because it's used to live in, in very, very shallow runoff water that's coming off the mountains in Northern California. Um, and the colder you can keep it through, you know, through those summer days, the better. Um, a truly magnificent plant, one of my favorites to draw along with Aracema. So two very different plants with amazing backstories and they both both look stunning, both look, look interesting, and, uh, but live very, very different lives and both called cobra lilies. 
Thanks for watching and if you do like these kind of videos then please drop us a, a like down below and if you like us enough to give us a like then why not subscribe to the channel and follow along. We're going to do a lot more in terms of carnivorous plants this year even though we're an Aroid channel I do keep like hundreds and hundreds of um, uh, carnivorous plants so I, I really focus on anything that's weird and wonderful so over the course of this summer I'll, I'll show you some of my collection.